Welcome back everybody. I'm Tassie with Tassie Eats and today I'm having Jimmy John's. So this is literally the day after the storm, the winter the snowstorm we had. And there is about eight inches of snow out there and they did a bunch of plowing overnight and I am running out of food in my house besides ramen. <laughs> So instead of always doing videos of ramen until I can get my car out on the street, <laughs> my car is pretty much stuck right now. I'm going to have to shovel my way out of all of that snow, but then the plows are going through. So they're just going to build a wall again around my car. So I, I did the trek outside and I went out to Jimmy John's and Jimmy John's is literally just across the street. That's why I went to Jimmy John's and I have been craving their sandwiches too. So I decided to stop in and so what we have is two of their sandwiches. I don't know if I'm going to eat this all, but we're going to try because we're not quitters. So this is their Club Lulu, which is one of my favorites. It's basically like the Turkey Town, but then they add bacon to it. So it's got turkey, bacon. They didn't have any sprouts today, so I didn't get any sprouts. But then I put uh, cucumber and lettuce in there and I put extra mayo. And then this one they recommended to me, this is their ultimate porker. It's basically got ham and smoked ham, like two layers I think of ham. And it's also got a bunch of bacon and lettuce and I asked for no tomatoes. And then I put uh, mayo and some mustard. And Jimmy John's, they also give you guys like, if you order it, they have like whole pickles and you can either have it whole, halved or quartered. And I got it quartered and I made a spicy Thai pepper sauce here on the side, my bread one. So then I'm just gonna dip my pickles in there. Because I'm Asian, we like to dip pickles and just pepper, you guys. If it's weird, that's just what we do. <laughs> Alright, so I know how this one's going to taste. I've never had the ultimate porker. And these are like 8-inch subs, you guys. So let's give it a shot. Bacon, ham, another layer of bacon. <laughs> mm. 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 I was kind of worried <clears throat> because the ultimate porker sounded like a lot of meat, but it's actually pretty good. <clears throat> All right, my club Lulu. <clears throat> it's just a turkey sandwich with bacon, you guys. <laughs> Cucumber and turkey. And then they put a bunch of bacon in here. And lettuce. I love my local Jimmy John's. Because they always hook you up with bacon. Like normally, most of Jimmy John's will just put a few slices of bacon in there. But they'll put like six slices or seven slices. They just like throw it on there. And <laughs> it's super good. This is a really, really spicy pepper. There is tamarind sauce in here too, and fish sauce, very little bit. Mm. So a lot of Southeast Asians, we love sour things and pickled things with pepper. We just do. <laughs> And it's so good because it gives you such a spicy kick. There is cilantro, lime juice in here, um, a lot of fresh Thai peppers. There's also dry Thai peppers in here, the ground one, and there's rice powder in here. Oh, that's spicy. <clears throat>
I'll put the link on how to make this pepper in the description box. Oh. <sighs> Phenomenal. Oh, that's spicy though. <clears throat> And that's why I didn't put ghost pepper in my sandwiches. Oh. <sighs> the pickle in the two sandwiches. <clears throat> It was $16.99. Oh. oh my god. It's so spicy and hot. Man, I almost dislocated my hip walking across the street to light. The plows, they they plowed it, right? But there's like a huge wall you have to climb over to cross the street. And I'm like lifting my leg as high as I go like just to get it over. And then I was like saddling the snow because it was like so high. I was like, this, okay, this, this is a bit ridiculous, you guys. Like. A lot of people can't walk across the street because of this, so they're, they're, they're still out there plowing. <sighs> I was like, man. I should have stretched before I went out there. <laughs> And it's really funny because during winter time, I had these hideous winter boots, you guys. They're so ugly, in my opinion. But I bought them because they were $5. They were on clearance. And I'm like, well, of course they're on clearance because they're so ugly. And I bought these about six years ago. And it's really funny because whenever I wear them, I get so many compliments on those boots. And it's one of those things where in my head they were so ugly, but I bought them because they were $5 and I needed winter boots at the time. And they are amazing in the snow, like with all that snow out there and I'm tracking through it all like an obstacle course. <laughs> my feet are super warm. They're dry. But these boots, I get so many compliments. My coworkers, my male coworkers, when they saw them, they were all like, those are really cool looking boots you got. And I'm like, oh my God, like, are you guys joking? Like, I can't tell if you're being like sarcastic or not. Because they're so ugly to me. <laughs> but I'll wear them anyways. We also eat cucumbers with pepper, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Any kind of sour fruit, like, I love... Um, the green hard mangoes with a pepper. I love oranges with a pepper. Grapefruits with a pepper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure other people do it too, not just Asians. Right? The first time my boyfriend saw me eating pickles with pepper and when I had mangoes with pepper, I was like eating it and he was like, what are you eating? <laughs> I'm like, you know, like pepper, you want some? And he was like, no, no. <laughs> So 
So a lot of you guys know my boyfriend, he's white. And, you know, like, when you're somebody who's not Asian and you, you end up dating somebody who's Asian, you're going to be eating Asian food. That's just how it is, okay? So whoever you're dating you always have to end up eating what they typically eat because that's part of the, you know, like whenever you're together as a couple and you guys ask each other, what do you want to eat? So a lot of times you're eating what they want to eat. <laughs> I taught him the power a bacon with white rice. <laughs> bacon with white rice, man. That is like so amazing. <laughs> For some reason, when it comes to bacon and rice, I can eat an insane amount of it. I could probably eat a whole package of bacon, you guys, with a mountain of rice. Like, it is just so good. I have to stop myself from eating it, though. If I want to drink, still, <laughs> I have to stop myself from eating it. But he's learned to really, really enjoy it. So he gets excited when I tell him that we're having bacon with rice. I'll make um, some fried plain eggs with no salt or anything, just because the bacon's pretty salty. And it's such a good balancer with, with the richness of the bacon and the grease and the rice. Mm -mm. And the good thing is, he really likes Asian food too. So whenever, you know, he asks me like what I want to eat, he pretty much knows there's going to be rice around the meal. He doesn't eat spicy though. Like he can eat it, but he d chooses not to because he doesn't like when his stomach hurts. <laughs> I eat pepper so much that my stomach doesn't really hurt from eating pepper. But for him, you know, it, he, it's not part of his regular diet. So when he eats it, his stomach hurts. <laughs> In Southeast Minneapolis, we have this deli. It's called Everett's. And we love going there for their ghost pepper uh, beef sticks. They're huge and they're super long. They are like the perfect amount of spice where I could just eat it with white rice. And it's perfect. And, he, you know, he would he used to eat a lot of those with me, but then he always got that stomach ache. <laughs> and so he doesn't want to eat it anymore because of that. The only thing missing are my sprouts. If only they had the sprouts. I do like this sandwich more. I may have to save this one because <laughs> I can't eat it. I want to eat my pickles.
I'm trying to think about what, like, food-wise, I learned from my boyfriend. Mm. I mean, yeah, you know, I grew up in America, so it's not like he's going to have something that I haven't had before. But I will say that I did learn from him cooking a lot with turmeric and um, baking powder, baking soda. Which one is it? The yellow box, you guys. <laughs> so, he makes a lot of his burgers and his taco meat, and he puts some of that in there. I do like it in there, but I'm rolling my eyes because... <laughs> He's a pretty healthy person, so he will like um. He, it's all about like pH balance to him, like his meals. And here I am, like, is there bacon? Is there gonna be bacon there? <laughs> like, rice? Is there gonna be rice? <laughs> but he's all about pH balance and drinking shakes and <laughs> eating yogurt. <laughs> when I went to my doctor, she asked me like um. You know, how many servings of fruit and veggies do I get a day? And she starts off with the highest. And I'm like, eh. And she goes a little lower. And I'm like, mm. And then she goes to the bottom, which is zero to three a day. And I was like, does cilantro, onion, and lime count? <laughs> because I eat a lot of pepper. I eat a lot of pepper. You know, it's like, I don't just sit there chewing carrots, you guys. I, I just don't. <laughs> I will eat carrots and it comes with my chicken wings and celery. I'll eat celery too. <laughs> I'm always so honest with my doctor like that's, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I do eat quinoa sometimes, though, in substitute of rice. I'll have quinoa. And you know a lot of people, they like to eat quinoa with them. They cook it with, like, chicken broth. I just do it with water, the way you're going to make regular white rice. Mm -hmm. That is so good, but it's so spicy. <laughs> I need to learn to just put, like, five pieces of Thai pepper. There's like 10 of them smashed in there. <laughs> it's so good though and so spicy. And this pepper is the best with fried meat. Mmm. Um, some sticky rice. I don't know what I'm going to eat later for us. I don't know. We'll have to see what restaurants are around me. <laughs> I'm going to have to like walk and pick everything up. Later, I had to try to get my car out of my parking spot. Because we have to move it to the other side of the block. Because they're going to plow that side. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Alright, one more half of my pickle here. Mm. Oh. I don't know, I might just be eating ramen. <laughs> oh. 
I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys.